Hi guys! I've seen some crazy hotels in our trips and heard a collection of my favorites. Are you ready to laugh? Let's get this started. Man to the left because... Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about! And that's the evidence! Guys, you can't argue anymore! Oh, I love Mr. Ben. Oh, come on, come closer, come closer. Yeah, that's it, okay, okay. Yeah, that's right. So, have you ever been caught in that situation before? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, a oh, one more. Mm. Hey, Have you ever arrived at the hotel and found the reception was empty? So, do you hit the bell like Mr. Ben? Oh. Or do you prefer to wait? At Hotel Through Us, our reception staff will never fail to greet you warmly before taking your details and tapping their keyboards an unusually large amount of times just to confirm your booking. Yeah. Yeah. May I have the last name of the reservation, please? Uh, yeah, Adams. That's exactly what happened. Look, look at that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can you spell that for me? Uh, sure. Oh, hey. Found it. And if you didn't believe us before, this is a real reception. Check this out. Welcome to the Hotel As. We're a little behind in our check-ins at the moment, but just remember, if we're not number one, we'll always be a number two. I'm hoping this is a joke, but I don't think it is. The Baltic Beach Hotel? Oh my God, please tell me there's a bone bastard in somewhere. Remember, no matter how early you make your reservation, final room allocation is always at the discretion of reception staff. Hey man, oh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, can, could you get us some towels since the room? The room's are 904. Uh, can you also send up a boyfriend who doesn't flirt with other girls to room 904? 904. 904, yeah. Another night to scream all the time. Patience. Okay, so we have you in room 905. Oh, what? That happens. At Hotels R Us, we try our best to provide you with adequate facilities, but of course, we can't always control the actions of the other guests. We hope you understand. Ah, oh, I was in a hotel and a little kid that did that to me. Three floors. I wanted to get him. He That's very really annoying. Another <laughs> annoying thing is he did it to me on three separate nights. Some hotels still give you old-fashioned keys to access your room. They're often worn and don't open the door, and if you lose them, they're hard to replace. We at Hotels R Us have solved this problem with our new keycard system. We now give you three keycards. Now, there's no guarantee that any will work, but if you lose them, they are now much easier to replace at a $50 surcharge to your credit card. As a woman, I know we need our towels. So guys, we've been warned, so beware. Sorry, I'll call for more towels. 
Believe me, size doesn't matter. Doesn't it, guys? Yeah, I know. Yes. Where? A condom because look, bacteria resistant. Well, there you go. What a braggy he is. Oh, what can you say about that? Smoke free rooms? Yes. I challenge you to tell the difference. <laughs> it makes me cough just watching. At hotels for us, we think of everything. A cozy corner chair for your suitcase. No way! That's it. A conveniently placed alarm clock that you can unplug to charge your phone. It's pretty convenient. A modern bedside lamp with a switch that's somewhere. Somewhere. In all of our luxury bathrooms, you'll find a range of toiletries that you will never want to use but can't resist the urge to take and hide in your suitcase, along with a robe, pillowcase, slippers, or anything else that's not nailed down. You know we have a bunch of toiletries still at home. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but you haven't even used the ones that we have. But someday I might. Guala, what have you got here? A dental kit from Roswell's Resort? What else? Body lotion and conditioner from Diamond's Hotel? How about this one? The bath and shower gel from Tessa Hotel? Conditioner? And shampoo and stationery from Sofitel. Wow, he's been busy. For those that enjoy a challenge, why not try a warm shower if you can get the temperature right? It's just getting colder. I don't know what. It's freezing. The more I turn it up, it's just, it's just cold. It's just cold water. You keep listening. She's faking it. Even though this is a prank, it is a good reason to check your bed before you sleep. Here is a kind of, kind of uh, hidden under the sheet there. <laughs> and here is the victim. She got his face when he sees it. See you next time!